What is up and what is poppy, y'all? Welcome to another week in my life. I told y'all in the last video, if you watched my last vlog, all the way to the end, you know I'm starting a new vlog today. But can we just, please, girl, it's a lot going on. This week, it's like baby girl is really coming and it shows. It shows in the house, all these Amazon boxes, all of this baby stuff. Girl, I'm gonna just tell you about my life in a second. But yeah, so basically this week is gonna be filled with all that. We got a baby appointment, we got unboxings to do. It's gonna get what it needs to. But if you're new to the channel, what you doing? If they're new to the channel, what are they doing? What are they doing? I am like 35, 34, 35 weeks. Girl, I'm a lot of weeks, like I'm almost there. So it's kind of like really crazy, but it is what it is. And my daughter's gonna be here soon, y'all. And y'all are gonna see her and it's just, it's giving everything it needs to. As y'all can see, I'm like dressed and I'm about to head out the door because I gotta run a couple errands. We're gonna run a couple errands. My mother-in-law is coming into town today and she's getting her hair done tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to the beauty supply and pick her up a pack of hair. And um, Lulu, y'all, Lulu. We just got home from my baby moon. Don't know if y'all watched the other vlog, but we just got home from our baby moon and Lulu's at my mom's house and I had to go get her because you know she crying, she want me, she misses her mom, of course. All right, boom, outfit of the day. So I got this cute little skin tight, skim dupe top with the skim dupe shorts because who is paying all that money, girl? And then I've got just a little, um, what is this, Tommy Hilfiger? Yeah, Tommy Hilfiger. And then I'm going to wear these. Aren't these so cute? Because, listen, y'all know I love my heels, right? But the heels haven't been healing because I'm prego. You know what I mean? I'm going on eight months here. So... These are so cute and they're actually our sponsor of the day. So let me tell you about them. So huge shout out to Kuko for sponsoring today's video. Kuko is actually a sub brand of Sheen. So you can find them on Sheen's website or with all the links down below. And they have so many cute shoes. So currently they have a night out campaign. So of course, when you're going out, whether it's with your man or with your girls, you need some cute shoes. Now, I'm really not the go out type of girl, but I still found some cute shoes for me. And I still love to dress up. So don't limit these shoes to just going out, girl. You need some everyday shoes as well. And Kuko definitely has them on deck. So I wanna show you the three pairs that they sent me and how I styled them because in my opinion, they're so cute and so affordable and you need them in your life. Okay, so the first pair is like this little strappy, platform type of sandal it's perfect because it's flat i love flats my feet love flats and i see a lot of like designer brands with this same exact design and i'm like who's paying designer prices i'm not but i still want to look cute so i headed to kuko's website and found the perfect shoe for me but the other shoes i have would definitely be cute for a night out so let me show you those are you kidding me are you Ki are you kidding me are you kidding me look at how beautiful these shoes are this definitely gives me night out this gives me date night vibes this gives me even brunch vibes like come on classy girl i love this strap i love the heel it's actually really comfortable these yeah, they're gonna get it done. These are super, super classy. They look so expensive. And of course, they're affordable. So who wouldn't wanna get these? I do have a coupon code you can use to get some money off. So make sure to take advantage of that by clicking the links in the description. And for our last pair of heels, we have this beautiful orange. Come on, orange. Come on, a knit block heel. Again, I love stilettos, but like I'm just not a stiletto girl at the moment. So I love something like this that's still comfortable but cute. Definitely would style these for a little brunch date with my girls. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. And again, they look like designer. Like, listen, Kuko's gonna get it done. You're gonna be cute and you're not gonna break the bank. 
who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> Kuko's whole mission is to really unlock that inner baddie that's been in you the whole entire time. And what's a better way to do that than feeling good and looking good? So make sure to click the links in my description, use my coupon code to get some money off and shop with Kuko today. Okay, like the whole pregnancy thing was cute at first and now I'm like over it. <sighs> Like, I can't go freaking more than two hours without feeling like garb because I haven't ate. Like, she's literally mad dramatic. Like, okay, girl, you didn't eat in two hours. Like, it's not the end of the world. And she makes it seem like the end of the world. Like, kicking in my ribs. Girl! Like, oh my goodness. So, that, um, I'm freaking huge. As y'all could tell from this angle. Literally huge. Like, I just need, like, I'm just over it. Like, seriously y'all i'll probably be better once i eat but like it's just getting to a point where it's like okay we get it you know what i mean like we get it girl like seriously it is a blessing to be able to have a child i get all that girl i get it i know girl i know but lord like they didn't tell you about these parts i didn't even tell y'all about these parts like oh my goodness <laughs> like i just want my body back like i'm just tired of feeling so big like seriously i've never i've never been this heavy in my life and i understand like i understand there's a whole human inside of me but like my feet freaking hurt from just the pressure of m my bigness <laughs> oh my gosh i went to the spa at our baby moon and it was like girl like you could have really got up in you know the crevices i feel like she did not get in the crevices like i still feel so sore and just like i've been trying to stretch more and do all that but i just feel so ready <laughs> like, ready to get my body back oh my goodness like i don't know how people can do this for like consecutive times in a row watch me say that and watch me slip up but seriously like i'm just oh, Goodness, girl, Lord, please. But me and God had a good talk today, like, cause I be going through, like, listen, God is probably just looking at me like, what is this girl doing? Because I'll go through these periods where I feel so distant from God, and it's like, what's the underlying factor here? And it's the untouched Bible, like, <laughs> like that Bible ain't been touched in like three days, girl. No wonder why you feeling like this. So I just had a really good talk with God. He was just telling me like whatever you feed will grow. So if you feed your flesh, yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. If you feed your spirit, you're going to see a lot of that. So it's like me being inconsistent in my faith. And I feel like for the most part, like overall, I'm very consistent. But like there is times where I'll go like three, four days without reading my word. I want to say three, four days, girl. I've been saying like three, four days, but it's really like two days. But like two days without God be feeling like a lifetime to me because it's ghetto out here. So it's like, I'll be a little inconsistent and then I'll be like, God, why don't I hear you anymore? And he's like, um, where were you this morning? <laughs> you didn't come to me. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just a lot going on. The angle is horrible. I actually really might start crying right now because this is just a lot like <laughs> y'all think i'm joking i'm at <laughs> i just I'm, I'm over it like i just really <sighs> it feels so big <laughs> i don't know why i always got crust in my eye these days i think i need a mommy makeover again i think that'll help these freaking raggedy um locks could also be the culprit of why i feel like this so i think this vlog i'm also gonna get like a little mommy makeover i need to get my nails done i need to get a pedicure i need to get my lashes filled i need to get my hair done girl it's like never ending like i'll get my hair done and then it's like two weeks later it's like knocking at my door like mm, you ready for that next appointment it's like girl i just spent four hundred dollars on getting his hair done now but i guess that's just the cost of being a baddie okay yeah i don't know what was going on i'm sorry I'm really actually not sorry because this is the real. Experience it. Okay, girl? Unless you're ready for these mood swings and the random cries, don't be getting pregnant. <laughs> okay. But it's the Chick-fil-A line. I think that's really what got me emotional because how dare at this time of day this line be like this. Okay, anyways, the plan, I need to go to the beauty supply. Gotta go to the beauty supply and then um, gotta go pick up my daughter, my first daughter, my firstborn, Lulu. Lulu, 
I feel like Lulu actually didn't even miss me this whole trip because so my brother lives with my mom and Lulu is obsessed. Lulu's obsessed with my brother. Like she's not like she's obsessed with like men in general. Like she's really like girl like mm, get yourself together. But she's obsessed with my brother. Been cuddling with him all week. Well, for the past three days and it's like lulu you don't even do that to me i gotta literally forcefully hug you for you to even okay i'm just making sure we're on the same page so i'm going through like oh also i got a new phone y'all i got two phones now <laughs> me got two phones i actually really like neglect this phone <laughs> y'all are probably like girl did you get the same phone no this one is way better i promise you like they did a thing on that new iphone and it's like the new new one is coming out in september i should have waited but i needed a business phone like sap oh yeah so i was going through some emails and it's like girl these brands be loving to play like if i gave you my rate my rate is my rate and they be coming back with the most trifling offers it's like i gave you my rate and you came back with an offer that's a quarter of my rate what makes you think about to do like girl when you get into this little little content creator influencer life you better stand firm in your value because these brands will definitely try to devalue you and i will definitely decline that offer <laughs> like no ma'am pam no ma'am pam the lord will provide thank you you're welcome thank you thank you thank you okay this music's so dang loud okay so she wants like a, a blonde ombre I don't know if this is too platinum for her though. I'm gonna call her. Do you want more of like a platinum ombre or do you want more of like that orangey-ish? Look at the two comparison. Not the platinum, I don't want the platinum. Okay, so something like this? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get this pack then. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you, bye. Love you too, bye. My sunglasses are stuck. This is why I'm literally taking these out. Yo, they've never been this stuck before. And that's just reason a million as to why I'm taking these out. Oh my gosh. Like they're just irritating. They're not even cute anymore. I'm gonna go home and take these out. I'm just like really over them. They're grown out. They're not cute anymore. That's okay. All good things come to an end okay y'all so it's a new day um sorry i couldn't record inside i was literally rushing my mother-in-law and i <laughs> we're about to go get her hair done like i told you yesterday so oh it was yeah it was a race this morning y'all but i got it done nonetheless so yeah it's gonna be an exciting day we just got them over for the weekend my mother-in-law and my auntie-in-law so um yeah tomorrow we've got what's tomorrow sunday mm -hmm. yeah. tomorrow we've got church and it's actually church on the lake our church does a lot of stuff outside and kind of like bringing the church to the actual streets and stuff like that which is super dope so we're gonna do that um javon is asleep at the house still with lulu and lulu's best friend is over willow i gotta show y'all her she is so cute willow was asleep all night she was tired right by my feet she was knocked out she was knocked out all night she is so cute she's like a little chihuahua shih tzu, shih tzu. she's really small but yeah y'all so i will talk to y'all when we get to the hair salon I'm gonna get her right get her laid everything y'all know i'm actually gonna wait oh i took out my hair y'all don't even see well y'all see now but i took out my hair and it was actually really easy i was procrastinating on it because like y'all saw those little locks like it was too much but they slide right out i literally slid each and every one of them right out so i'm gonna do a little in between style just my ponytail we'll go to the beauty supply and get it just my ponytail for like two weeks because for my labor i want to have the braid she's getting but i want them to be fresh like i don't want them to be old looking especially because i won't be able to get my hair done for a long time so we'll wait on that but I, I still do want to get like my nails done in this vlog and get a lash fill because yeah we're going through it and a pedicure are you due for a pedicure uh yeah because my feet is looking all well yeah. so yeah i'll update y'all in a little bit and then we're gonna get it popping uh. 
my baby, my valentine, yeah. Can I need to make you my temperature to the ice? If you leave me, I could die, I swear. You are like the oxygen I need to survive. I'll be your best. Your love ain't get caught on in me. I am so obsessed. I want to go chop your body. I want to live with Kamishi. Open up, make I see what I need. You're my love, man, since you can make a bad man. Hey y'all, so we actually ended up at Ponce. Mama got her hair done, slayed and laid. It's just, my African braider, you know, she's just gonna do it every single time. So we just pulled up to Ponce, Javon and our auntie are already here. Um, I'm not actually sure where they are. Where did he say? Upstairs. Okay. He said coming towards the entrance. All right, so yeah, we just decided to go to Ponce because his auntie's never been to Atlanta and she's just so excited. So we kind of want to show her all the little little touristy hot spots and stuff like that. But it's a hot day. It's Saturday, so it's definitely popping. There's a lot of people. Parking was super hard. But nonetheless, we're here. So, whew. Yeah. Whew. It's too hot. I got my tripod, yo. Hello, hello, hello. Like, I'm gonna start my own channel because right. I don't get enough camera time. <laughs> Say no. So, yeah, this market is cute. Did you look at any of the vendors? No, we was looking at Oh, okay. We've been chilling, just people watching. This dude tried to get me to buy some spiritual Buddhist uh, self realization, revelationary stuff. Yeah, he said oh, mine would have been like, shut him down quick. Okay, but uh, no. You heard that? Uh, now, what happened? Dude over there trying to get me to self actualize. Buy some self actualize. Basically, he was like, Here, you, here's some free books for you. And I'm like, Free? I said, How much? He said, Yeah, we're just giving it to We just want to empower people. And I'm like, But how much are you trying to make? And he was like, Well, you know, out of just the goodness of people's heart, they gave me like $10 for, for it. I was like, No, I'm cool. He's like, He said, Man, Malcolm X, Tupac read these. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, No, I said, No, I'm cool. He was like, uh, I mean, you don't want to invest into the into your mind. Oh into your, I'm like, nah. He said no. Yeah, you know, into the education. Then he was like, you don't want to invest into uh into the youth. Oh, I like you this. This is a new one. I got four more coming. Like that's a new one. I'm going straight, just playing color small. Nice. Color. But yeah, nah. But now he he's like yeah, a little he got bit uh, on. deflated. Jevon Dante. What is you well, doing? If your knees hurt, that's how you gotta go down the stairs. crazy y'all i like low-key came home and took a nap do you see her she's just in the mix but let me show y'all what's going on outside my mama and mother-in-law and auntie are all here doing all of the laundry like when i say it takes a village <laughs> it takes a village because i do not have the energy to do nothing and they just came through and literally are doing all her laundry about to press fold wash and go do all that. So I'm just super thankful for them. But let me go show you what's to you, girl. Yes, you, yes, there you Elijah. go, Elijah. Yes, that's cute. Look at all her clothes, That's so cute. Zero to three months. Oh that is so It's that's a short set. So cute, oh my gosh. <laughs> like piles I could see clothes. us coming and just changing her clothes. Like, oh, we need a picture. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is 12 months, so this goes in that pile. That's Look at this. Oh, that's a funeral dress. That's gonna be like how close to Halloween. She's gonna be in style. Put a little pink, and she's just like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can make it pink. I won't put it in. I am just looking so crusty. I'm looking like somebody. Auntie, it don't matter. The but fact that you use a texture to describe her appearance is hilarious. Crusty. I'm looking crusty. You do look like that. I'm looking crusty. Like one little eye scratch and little flakes. Yeah, so basically, y'all, it's our family's last day here, so we kind of want to do like a whole goodbye brunch. So we're getting ready for that. Bye. Remember when Javon told y'all he's getting new schmogs? Two well, here's yes one of them. Today. He got oh, yeah. I, I shown. Yeah, so new turbans, I guess, because y'all don't know what they call it. Y'all be calling them turbans. Uh, so I got this nice little, I got a quim. A quim color. Color, little khaki joint. 
got a little goldish brown. It's a little golder than I thought. I really wanted brown, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it work. Yeah. This navy blue that I'm really excited about because I don't even have any type of blue. Y'all, Lulu got her period yesterday. She's and wearing she, baby girl's and diaper. Y'all know diapers ex expensive, and she out here wearing our diapers. So she had to. Know, it was either that or bleed everywhere. Yeah. She's not neutered, y'all. You said, um, I have a diaper on. Stop, Lou. You have a diaper on, Lulu. I'm you got a diaper on. You got a diaper. So I have to get my whole life together, y'all. Yeah, like, I look so crusty. So we're going to get dressed, and then we'll talk to you in the car when we're all ready and we're all departing. We got my mom pulling up, like, everybody, girl, the whole fam. Yeah. It's going to be lit. It's the family's last day. So how was your guys' trip? Overall, Great. love it. Yeah, they had a really good time. Always a good time. Church was really good yesterday, y'all. I didn't record church. Oh, I forgot to even tell y'all. We went to church yesterday, and it was church on the lake, and it was really beautiful. It was a really good experience. Our church is just like super amazing. Innovative. Yeah. Well, is it innovative or is it traditional? I don't know. No, I think it's more innovative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look what I said, my So. <laughs> Yes, y'all, we're headed to brunch. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. And I'm going to talk to y'all. I'm going to show y'all our little brunch montage. Early in the morning, late at night. It don't even matter what time it is. Okay, y'all, what's popping? So it's been a minute since I've talked to y'all, um, but I decided to actually start like organizing baby girl stuff because um, it was a blessing that our moms did all the laundry and now we just kind of had to like, you know, do a little organization. So boom, check it. This is all her newborn. Newborn onesies, girl. Newborn. I'm gonna show you her little closet with stuff hanging up and then I just put her little socks in her, um, her little socks in here hats in there like this is mad random like this little one pair of underwear like i really don't know what to do with this and i feel like this is very unnecessary so i'm also on live as we speak i got the girls the girls is watching so yeah y'all seen the behind the scenes y'all seen them <laughs> okay so basically what i'm about to do i'm gonna hit them y'all can barely see me uh-uh I'm gonna finish organizing because as y'all can see like her crib has just a lot of stuff in it It's really her blankets her burnt cloths and this week we're gonna do the hospital bag I don't know if I should do a separate video. Actually y'all should I do a separate video or should I do like a In the vlog type of thing, but I don't know <laughs> You know, I don't know so um I'm gonna just organize this fix this real quick and then I'm gonna talk to y'all cuz actually girl I got a word and I have to give you the word, but I'm gonna do it after I do all this. So stay tuned. Hey, boom. Just stopped my live and just like cleared out the crib. Let me show y'all. So y'all know I've been on my organizing game. I need chalk so I can write on these, but this is all of her newborn stuff. Well, this is like little socks and some hats, but all of this is newborn onesies. Down here, we got extra blankets. Down here, we got bibs, another extra blanket. I love this, like, it's so cute. Then we've got some of her, like, clothes that I needed to hang up. Still newborn, y'all. This is not like, <laughs> this is not like, you know what I mean, all her clothes. This is just her newborn stuff. So we got all that. I hung some of her little pants up over here. I put this like her little accessory bin and y'all somebody sent us a whole fridge a whole fridge somebody literally sent us a whole fridge so this is gonna be her milk fridge in here obviously we can freeze stuff freeze her milk and then store her milk so our fridge isn't just like filled with her milk because obviously it's gonna be mad milk we're putting this in the bathroom javon has to take it over there because it has her towels so we got to put all her towels in the bathroom but let me talk to y'all 
So, like, I was being funny on my live telling y'all this story, but it's actually, like, really deep. So, <clears throat> I wasn't vlogging much in the car on our way to go eat because when I say I was hungry, I was starving. <laughs> and y'all know how I get when I'm hungry. I was just over it. I was over everything. I was over everyone. I'm like, I'm done. And Javon made the decision. He's like, okay, I've never been over here, but I'm going to take y'all. I'm gonna take y'all to the battery. We ain't never been to the battery. We didn't even know what the battery looked like. The battery's like a little, you know, little spot in Atlanta. But he's like, I'm gonna bring y'all to the battery. I'm mad because I ain't never been to the battery. He ain't never been to the battery. I'm like, why are we driving 30 minutes to go to the battery? This was the last day with our family, so we wanted it to be like a nice, like, you know, brunch. But that thing said 30 minutes away, and there was traffic. And I was just like already irritated. My stomach, baby girl kicking around, it was too much. And I was just getting so frustrated, so upset. To the point where we was five minutes away from the battery. And I'm like, you know what, Javon, just give me KFC. Because I don't see how there's about to be a way where I'm about to eat. And I'm just starving. But God was like, if you don't, just wait. So I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. We get to the battery and it's really dope. Like the battery is like a vibe. We ended up finding this really, really, really good restaurant. Having a great time with our family. Really good food. And it's like I was really willing to settle for some KSC. When five minutes up the road, there was a whole steakhouse. A whole experience. A whole thing I ain't never, you know what I mean? Like, And it's like so many times in my life I have just wanted it right now. Like I just want it right now. I know God's got something for me down the road, but I can't wait for all that. I just need it right now. Like, I've done that. I have been part of the instant gratification cult. <laughs> I've been a part of the scam. But what I realized is that instant gratification, in the long run, it does you no good. Because I would have ate that KFC, and it would have been good in the moment. But I would have been hungry an hour later. Come on. <laughs> but, baby, I ate, that at, I ate at that steakhouse at about... One, two o'clock, it's 8.20, and I have yet to eat again because I've been full. And I got leftovers. <laughs> Come on. So for real, on a real note, y'all, like what God has for you in this season, it may take a little bit to get there. But there's always going to be distractions along the way that are telling you to stop now. Just have this. Just get this. And, and, and it may look good. In that moment and you may be so tired and wearisome that you almost grab it but i promise i promise if you stay on that track what god has for you is gonna blow your mind exceedingly abundantly above what you can imagine i was about to settle for kfc and we went to a steakhouse so for real i hope that can just encourage you and i hope this could be a word or confirmation for somebody who is ready to give up keep going your blessing is there. Your blessing has already been made. God has already declared it for you, but there's a process involved in getting there. Don't quit during the process. Get something out of your pain. <laughs> okay. What's poppin' y'all? I don't even know, girl. What is it? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I don't know what day of the vlog it is, but I'm headed to Walmart because I'm about to do like a massive all day clean with me and i need cleaning products our family left yesterday and like <laughs> the house is just looking a little bit crazy so i'm like okay girl we're gonna get some content out of this so i'm gonna head to walmart with y'all and we're gonna get some cleaning supplies get some scarves on the way talk chat and then i'm gonna come back and like let me just show you y'all it's a lot going on you know what i'm saying like what is this it's just a lot going on. So we just gonna do a little clean with me, get our lives together. It's gonna be super motivating. So make sure to watch that. Okay, girl. Y'all, I've been wanting to try this. I'ma try it. I'ma try it. TikTok has me in a chokehold. I'ma try it. I also need to get one of these for the sink. Like it's really giving cleaning, y'all. I'm telling you, if you want some cleaning motivation, you better tap it. Don't forget my coffee now. Okay. We gotta get some detergent. I also got this because like, I love just smelling good. You know what I mean? I love a smelling good home. I seen this laundry routine on TikTok on how to get your clothes to smell bomb. So, oh, here go one of the products. This downy. So I'm gonna try it out and see because like, 
I feel like that's my biggest aspiration in life. Like I want my laundry to smell amazing. There's nothing like good smelling laundry. So, oh, also she had this. Let me go ahead and grab this. The OxyClean. Well, should I try the small one first, y'all? Well, I'm gonna get this one. It's not too big. Ooh, chill life. <sighs> it is later in the day. And I literally, y'all, cleaned the whole house. Like, it was a lot. I'm freaking exhausted. So, of course, after you clean, you feel dirty yourself. So, <laughs> I took a shower and I just want to do like a little bit of mommy self-care. Because I feel like I haven't done like real self-care in a minute. Like, I was in the shower and I shaved my legs for the first time in <laughs> I don't know how long. I haven't shaved my leg in like months, but also like I don't really get a lot of hair growth on my legs, but girl, it was definitely some hair on that razor. But I just been like reflecting, especially this morning when I was in prayer and God would probably be sick of me because he's like, this girl is so emotional. But I can like, like the only thing I can do when I just think about like my life right now is just cry because it's just amazing like looking and reflecting and being able to literally go back and see where I was at <laughs> opposed to now it just like it just shows God really has done a work in me and like all aspects of my life though you know what I mean like all aspects of my life he had to work on me internally before anything on the outside showed it I'm gonna use my pumpkin and papaya five minute exfoliating face mask. I really love this, it's bomb. But I definitely am kind of just feeling it. I'm feeling it y'all. Like these are my last few weeks, not few weeks, but I've got six weeks left if she doesn't come early. Um, and it's sad because dang for the last nine months, like me and my little girl have been rocking together. But we know all things come to an end and I just know that God is about to do something so amazing in this next season. And when I say I'm walking by faith, child, cause I'm a first time parent and I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know that God is gonna teach me so many lessons in this new season and I'm just ready for it. I'm ready for the ups, I'm ready for the downs. It's going to be a lot, but I know that through everything, God has got my back. Like, that's the saving grace. Like I can't imagine going through life without God because life is so much and life can be so heavy and going through that by yourself. Listen, if you ain't got right with God, this is your message too, because I don't know how, girl, I would be a mess without him and i mean that in the most sincere way like i see god show up in so many aspects of my life and i just do these vlogs and i make this content to show you firsthand what putting god first can do not the shallow materialistic stuff but internally how god has literally transformed me y'all have seen it y'all can check the receipts like this really is what it is and let me also say everybody has their own journey with christ like we always be trying to compare and and look at somebody else's journey but it's like everybody's journey is going to look a little bit different yeah there's keys and tools and tips you can take from other people's journey but don't be so stuck in somebody else's journey that now that's too influential on your journey when i tell you when you get to know god for you and not who somebody else's God is, it hits different. I'm putting this cocoa butter all on my stomach. I still got some stretch marks on my love handles, but it is what it is. I definitely have kind of been like, not trying to avoid thinking about labor because that's a very important part of pregnancy, <laughs> but um, just not overstressing myself because there's, so many different labor stories out there there's so many different perspectives and though that's great like i can't get so caught up in everybody else's experience with it that now i'm terrified or now i got anxiety and all this extra stuff like i just be telling myself listen 
this baby's in me and it's gonna come out and i know god's gonna keep me safe in the process and that's just what it is pain does not last forever it's going to be painful it's going to hurt but i'm just gonna use the tools that i've been you know storing up and we're gonna make it do what it do okay the webs the webs uh-uh sorry <laughs> Look handsome. Devon's about to take me to go get my nails done. How kind of him. Y'all see the fits. I did a little something, something. She Devon smell, got new schmoes. She smell good too. <laughs> ben. All right, you're in my ear. That first spot, my bad. <laughs> we married though, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so, um, yeah, we're about to go to the nail salon. Javon's gonna get my nails done because, yeah, girl, these feet is looking like who done did it and why. We might have to make a couple returns, so today's gonna be, like, errands and all that, but you're gonna spend some time with the Graves, Dragon Jalon. Er Your favorite couple on YouTube. Don't forget it. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe, like, follow, all that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I don't even wear silver, but I was like, mm, I kind of been feeling the silver look. I just ordered a, a new JBW and it's like silver and gold. So I'm kind of like low key transitioning. Not too much, but it's got like a little silver. No, nah, we never don't transition. It's not either. too much silver. The gold fam. We are gold. Because I'm but not like, switching. But gold doesn't look good. Like with, I'm wearing gray right now. Like gold would look weird with this. Okay. You're right. Chill. So. She's always right. <laughs> hungry. Are you going? Let's go get lunch. Yeah, we're about to do stuff. We're about to get out. It's been raining mad hard. Like, yeah. a lot, a lot, a lot. So, we're going to go take advantage of the sun. We got to um, return a stroller. Um, they sent us the wrong color. So, we're yeah. going to return that and get the new one in. The best that comes in. Yeah. It's crazy how, like, getting dressed and showering and stuff just makes you just feel so much more productive. Period. Yesterday, it was raining all day. So, we didn't really get too dressed up. Plus, we had to clean up around the house and stuff. So, we really knew we wouldn't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. So, we, like... It was a light day, you know what I'm saying? But, like, today I definitely feel... So encourage them. Tell them. Get up. You know get what I'm up. saying? So make sure y'all get up, mm -hmm. get dressed, look your best. Because if you look your best, yeah, yeah. then you're going to present yourself the best. And people can feel that energy. Right. And you're going to be more confident when you look your best. You know That's what I'm saying? True. And people are attracted to confidence. You know what I'm saying? And people are attracted to, to people who just, like, keep themselves together and mm -hmm. well-groomed and stuff. So make sure y'all stay groomed and keep yourself light. If you're feeling down and depressed and stuff... Just try it. Get dressed and just go outside and go, go to Target. Somewhere. Like just yeah. walk in a store. Or you something. Know, go do that. You know, pray first, but then go out there and go do yes. that. Because when you pray, <laughs> you about to open up some doors you didn't even know it was closed and it was about to open. In Jesus' name. <laughs> In Jesus name. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm hiding now. I just gave myself a pass. Oh my gosh. It's a new dawn. Like finish the song. What's the song? It's a new dawn. So now you don't know the song. Glass vlog, you was just coming in the bathroom singing it. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. For me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Who's singing? It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life, and I'm feeling good. You know that song. Dun 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 dun. dun. What is going on? <laughs> Realistically. At least it's a nice day out, y'all. We're about to go to the nail salon. And at the nail salon, they got... Javon forgot his tripod today, so... No vlog for y'all. No vlog for y'all. We just went and we returned something at the... Nah, no lie. We were just about to put our shades on at the same time. Same unintentionally. Time. Same time. But we just... um. We just went to go return something at the FedEx. And then we're gonna go get these. I want an acai bowl before I go and get my nails done. Uh, acai. Acai. They're really good. Like you gotta get one. You'll probably want a smoothie. Yeah, I remember a couple of vlogs ago. I was like, man, I need to get me some new schmogs. Cause da 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 da. That, ba, ba, yeah, ba. that was last vlog. I think. Da 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 da. Yep. This is one. I like Javon's big schmogs. Like. I got these smaller ones. They used to be my favorite. Right? Yeah, like he used them. to he used to not like the big ones. You know, yeah. But like the big ones just give. Give turban. <laughs> you look like a, a Arabian prince. Ben. Ben. Um, it's yeah. not Arabian, by the way, because I'm not Arab. Child. Anyway, so we're hey, gonna. Bro. I'm a bro. Wow. A 
Okay, so actually, fun story, y'all. So, Javon, if y'all look up, <laughs> I'm about to take If y'all look up, shoot, what were your vlogs' names? Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Go on YouTube. Yep. Look up Yizzo. Y I Z G O. <laughs> Yizzo. C G. Yes. C G Team Yizzo. Yeah. Y I Z Z O. You're going to see. All his college vlogs. Yeah, all my vlogs from college. If y'all want to see him in college, like if y'all want to get more insight on him, like oh, wow. please go watch those vlogs. I remember like one night we stayed up all night watching all of them, cracking up. Like his vlogs really, was good I though. I used to really be on my vlog game super heavy back in the day. Yeah, That's they were sure. actually like good. Like he edited them well. It, mind you, this is back in what? When did you graduate? 2013? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yep, that's like 20, crazy, like y'all. You graduated college, you know? Yeah, it was college. You graduated college in 2013? Yeah. Dang! Yeah. <laughs> right, I know. Like, I graduated. Like. Right. <laughs> but, you know, the good news is. All right. I'm still kicking, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, still out you here. You wouldn't know. Like, I'm seriously, y'all. Like, Javon really gives me, like, 25, 26 vibes. Like, young soul, young yeah. energy, you know what I mean? Honestly, the only, like, you would, give, you would give me even younger vibes if you didn't have, like, as, thick of, hair. Like, as thick of a beard as you do. Right. Like, when you had, when he got his beard trimmed. But my beard took so much, like, time I, i've been wanting a beard since high school i used to literally no i love your beard when you face. when you got it cut in ohio you looked younger you looked like 24 but like right. when you have it long like this when you be on your abraham you'd be giving like 26 27 vibes uh, uh i used to literally just brush my face hoping that like some hair was <laughs> it was giving uh, manifestation for real speaking it into existence I have a mustache but yeah Yep. Yeah, go watch his Yizzo vlog. It was definitely on the vlog game. Like, like y'all need to plan like a whole night to do it. Like, say you're bored on a Saturday and just binge watch all of them. Honestly, stories are so good. You actually will see like my like music career. I used to tour. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I was traveling and stuff. So yep. yeah, it was definitely it's giving you know new, new other chapters, new chapters, still progressing and stuff. Been that. Business. So we about to pull it right now and get my nails done, y'all. <laughs> oh, now you know the song, Birds right? Fly high, you know that I'm and y'all better make sure y'all man's is opening the door for you, cause you was a lady, okay? You was a lady. Hello. Hey. Oh yes. He said, "Glad you're excited." Yes, I'm so excited. I want the refresher. I mean, that's probably good. The immunity one's probably so good. That probably is good. I need that, actually. Yeah, do the immunity one. What's the power one, though, for protein? Where you see that? Okay, y'all, I'm about to order um, our... We're, we're about to order our smoothies. This place is called the Superfood. It's in Marietta. It's so good. It's so good, y'all. is nothing like a fresh pedicure and i'll give it to them like the place i go to they really be getting in there they really be scrubbing but like they took two and a half hours and i get it they was packed today but girl i booked an appointment anyways finally got done girl you don't understand how bad my feet be <laughs> like and uh, i gotta talk to y'all about something because i'm going through a crisis and I need your help. Okay, so this is my crisis, y'all, because like I told y'all, I'm done. I told y'all, I'm done getting my nails done, like my nails, nails. But I just can't. <laughs> like, I literally can't. So I was on Instagram, right? And I saw this picture of these nails and I fell in love. And I'm like, listen would it be wrong for me to go and book <laughs> like i found these imagine these were white and then i put on my instagram i'm like okay y'all is having nails with like a baby actually that hard mind you i'm not about to get no long nails like i may get short ovals but 
is it that hard and everybody's like no girl it's not that hard so at this point y'all are trying to convince me to go get my nails done so i booked the appointment for monday <laughs> I can't be out here giving a girl stubs like I've just never been able to do that like I can have everything else done but if my nails aren't done I just feel like so incomplete and just it's just not it's just not it so um got my toes in today so did you, what do you want to do you want to go home or do you want to eat what is it 5 30 I did take that steak out to cook, but... I need charcoal, so we would need to stop at a grocery store because I want to I wanna grill it. That's so much. Longhorn. My knee hurt. You want to go to Longhorn? Texas Roadhouse. Do you want to do that for real? Don't say that. Come on. Oh. We're going now. <laughs> no, oh. Texas Roadhouse because they got the buns. Oh, my knee hurt. I got to stop hooping for a second. Good morning, girls. How we doing today? Because let me tell you how I'm doing. <laughs> Y'all, when I say I've had a morning, my lips is dry. Hold on. Uh-uh. Hey, I'm going to never have crusty lips. So, y'all, this morning, like, it was just a lot. <laughs> I woke up and it was really good. Like, I thought, I was like, okay, today's about to be a good day. Here go Lulu. Y'all know she already destroyed the carpet, so strike one you got two strikes left she hit her second strike because the carpet i put over the carpet she ruined she want to doo-doo all over you know what i mean and it's just like god i get it you're prepping me for my daughter but lord like <laughs> and then i just got even more mad because like javon was just getting on my nerves you know? <laughs> the married couples know like listen he was just getting on my nerves and i was just like Okay, so I could either be mad all day. And I'm like, it just takes too much energy to be a negative Nelly. Why? You know what I mean? Like, at heart, I'm naturally a really positive person. So, I'm like, I would have to try to be negative. And I'm just not feeling that today. Like, we have our baby appointment today. We got our bassinet in yesterday. There's so much good stuff happening. And if I was to dwell on, like, the few bad things that happened this morning i would miss all the good and i feel like that's sometimes what happens in life like we be having one thing go wrong and we be forgetting how blessed blessed we are like the fact that you can even click on this video and that you're breathing that you're walking like that's a blessing that's something that some people pray for pray for pray for the fact that we have good health the fact that we have family like all that sometimes we take it for granted but like that really is a blessing so i'm like mm, no satan because satan loves to be a little gremlin and have me dwell on the bad and i was like i'm gonna dwell on the good and in the process i'm gonna look cute because one thing i do know if i look good I'm gonna feel good. And I don't even wanna cry today, so I'm not even gonna try to try this on. I already know, like I wanted to wear this with like a really high skirt and it would've been so cute. But I know I struggled to get into this top when I was like skinny, so <laughs> I don't wanna cry today. So I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna. I do need to find something to wear to the baby appointment because baby girl is about to go get checked up. So let me see. Okay, let me go in the other closet. This is kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but it's like, I still feel like I have nothing to wear. <sighs> like, I just stick to a dress, you know? I really do. But it's like, I'm tired of wearing a dress. I want to wear something else. Okay, maybe I'll just do like a cute little, this is like a Skims dupe top with like some... I don't know like I don't have any shorts I don't know I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna come back to y'all who also I ordered a new JBW watch <gasps> I'm so excited because I've worn my gold one out so I'm excited to get that um as y'all can see like baby girl has this corner 
where it's just like crazy. But the rest of her nursery looks good. <laughs> I just need to fix this corner. And like I said, her bassinet came in. So we're going to do an unboxing of her bassinet today. And I'm going to get my lashes done. This kind of turned into like a mommy maintenance vlog because girl, I needed maintenance. Like it was just not giving. Um, so yeah, I got my toes done yes, or two days ago. I'm about to get my lashes done. Then we're going to get the nails done on my day. But I'm going to get dressed. Then we're going to go to the appointment. Y'all, we just got to the doctor's office. And we're about to go up. My new watch came in though. And I got my glasses on, y'all, because I'm about to get, I told y'all I'm about to get my lashes done after this. And last time I wore contacts, it didn't go too well. I'm going to show y'all my outfit in a second. Here's Siobhan. What's up, y'all? Here's the outfit. Looking real cute. <laughs> Fourth floor. Yeah. Look at his beard, y'all. No, I need a trim up. It's kind of like yeah, but it's, it's, glistening. it's rough right now. Okay, we about to head in. I gotta put y'all away for a second, but I'm gonna try to sneak some film. Okay, so for those who don't know, like every time you come in, the first thing they'll do is they'll like get your weight, they'll get your vitals, they'll get a urine sample, and then they'll bring you into your room where you talk to your midwife or doctor. So I just did my weight and everything like that, and now I'm waiting on going into my room so I can talk to my midwife about my birth plan. What's up, y'all? <laughs> We in the, uh, what's this room this called? Is, uh, this Doctor's office room. <laughs> I don't know. But we like, you know, we're a couple weeks out. So right now he's, uh, like appointments is like every week, every week and a half or so. Every week. They'd be pretty short though now. You know, they used to be a lot longer. Now it's just kind of just checkups and stuff. But I'm sure. Dang, we need to figure out when's our next ultrasound. Because I want to see her. We might as well wait now, boo. Like, no, like not a 3D. To see how big she is and like what she look like now. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we're that. getting the birth plan set in stone. We have to ask a few questions before we like officially give them our birth plan. Just about some stuff we were looking at yesterday. Yeah. Um, I really need to figure out like I have extra questions written down too. Like how long is this stay at the hospital? That was something we. Yeah, uh, I highlighted them last night. I know, I got you got it. the pictures? Yeah. Why were you nervous? <sighs> like, it's about to happen. I'm about to see a little baby come out. <laughs> like, this is, like, I'm about, this baby is about to be here. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. We're finna be in the hospital for mad long. Like, I was just thinking about it, like, rushing to the hospital. Uh, you know, water breaking. Like, that whole little thing is just like. Some women's uh, water breaks, some doesn't. Well, regardless, it's gonna be a, a very intense, yeah. high energy series of moments that's gonna last mad long. You know what I'm saying? Being in the hospital for like 12 plus hours. You know, it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, well, crazy. at least you don't gotta go through no pain. Like. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna feel that. I'm gonna be the one out here struggling. Yeah, it's crazy, especially reading those questions. We did our birth plan. Like, oh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, 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 nice to see you again. When I see your faces, I remember who you are. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, you know, there it is. Okay, beautiful family. Hey y'all, so I actually went and got my lashes done, as y'all can see. I didn't take you along just because, like, child, I needed a moment. Like, I needed to just, like, breathe digest so as y'all know we went to the baby appointment and like i don't know something it was just a little questionable like there was just a concern that came up and it just gave me like not a good feeling and then um we now obviously have to wait until our next appointment to figure out like what's really going on but you know the doctor said you know this thing usually just passes it usually just fixes itself but let's schedule you for an ultrasound and i don't know her body language was just, it was just like a little off and anything that has to do with health especially like people i love's health child i'll be like <sighs> super anxious like that's my default to just go into anxiety go into the worst possible scenario and to meditate on that and you know on my ride home from getting my lashes done i was just literally reminded how over and over and over and over again how god has showed up for me 
in so many different aspects of my life. I truly serve a God who knows tomorrow. And that statement alone helped me to breathe because I realized it's not on me to know tomorrow. It's not on me to figure it out. It's not on me to have the answers to the things that I don't even know. I can put my trust in a God who has showed up, the one and only God who has showed up over and over and over again. God knows tomorrow. Like, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're worrying about, that thing that keeps you up at night, that thing that puts a pit in your stomach. But let me tell you, God knows tomorrow. You know what I mean? When I was 15 years old, depressed, God knew my tomorrow. When I was 16 years old, hurt, broken, living in a super toxic household, God knew my tomorrow. When I was 17, graduating high school, moving across the country by myself, God knew my tomorrow. Like it was never on me to figure it out and just to, to sometimes we need to remind ourselves, remind that anxiety who the God is that we serve. For real, y'all. I just pulled up home and Lulu is already acting a fool. But I just needed to get that word out to encourage somebody like you don't have the answers and that's okay because God does. But you need to trust in that more than you're trusting in that anxiety and that bad thing to happen. So I'm just going to go make dinner for my family. I am going to get my nails done on Monday but I want to continue like this vlog because I do want to bring you guys to our next appointment. Just to show the testimony because I trust and believe that everything is fine and that God is going to <sighs> just do what he does. Um, I'll talk to y'all on Monday when I go and get these little hands done, but just had to give y'all that little encouragement. What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday. So, today we just went to church. We had some family time. My mom made like a Sunday dinner, so that was really nice. I didn't vlog it because, you know, it was kind of like an in the moment thing. But, guess what? The bassinet came in. This is the last piece of the whole equation and we're really excited. She is gonna be sleeping like in our room with the bedside bassinet right here. So we're just gonna set it up for y'all because I want y'all to be a part of the experience. So it's a girl dad. It's a girl dad. Girl dad gang. All right, so we got our bassinet from Amazon. I'm really just gonna let Javon put it together y'all because I don't do this. Of course. <laughs> Pour from, the, from the bottom. Pour from the bottom. What do you mean? Pour from the side. The other side. Yeah. Uh, they be packing this stuff up. Oh. Oh, this one has the thing you want. The little dingly. Bad. He's been wanting like a mobile thing for so long. No, that thing is bad. Man, he was just looking. Oh, I need a in it. You see, I got a neutral color, y'all, just in case. Oh, uh, no, that's a little Round technical. Two? Let's see all the vibes they got. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I ain't got no Michael Jackson. Okay, they got a little C. Little birds, okay. No aliens. Do they have white noise? Yay. The bassinet is set up. We still need to strap it to our bed frame. But, like... It's set up though, and it's really nice, and it's got this cute little mobile on it. It is so adorable. I'm literally so exhausted, y'all. I'm about to take a nap, and then I'll talk to y'all tomorrow when we go get these little crusted, dusty nails. What's up, y'all? I'm feeling like, ah, the baddie that I am. Eyebrows done. <laughs> Nails is done. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter if I got my hair done, my lashes done. If I don't have my nails done, I'm going to still feel like a gremlin. And I'm just so good. Like, I look, I'm looking at the viewfinder because I'm like, I look good with that JB up. Looking like a bat. Yeah. 
up y'all i'm just so glad i got my nails done and let me say i found my nail spot y'all know i've been on this journey with at least 10 nail techs trying to really find like what it is but then i didn't even show y'all hold on get into get into the perfection that was done in literally 45 minutes I've been to too many nail techs where they take three hours. I don't got the time to do that. You know what I mean? 45 minutes in and out, a real salon. I can get a pedicure. I can get my eyebrows done and I can be in and out. Like he was shook. He's like, you done that quick? I'm like, yes. Like I just got right. So that's going to be the end of this vlog. I'm actually about to start a new vlog. So make sure to tap into my next weekly vlog. We're going to the doctors tomorrow. So I'll keep y'all updated on that in the next vlog. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. God bless y'all. Thank you for just encouraging me on this journey. Being here for me on this journey. I love y'all. And I'm going to see you next video. Bye. What is up and what is up?